Hi, this is Galit Gopharb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about endotoxins and what they can do to your health. Now in nature, organisms have developed ways to defend themselves by producing poisonous and harmful substances called toxins. Toxins are substances produced within living cells or organisms that can have a detrimental effect on other living organisms. Endotoxins are bacterial toxins from gram-negative bacteria. Endo meaning internal, a part of the bacteria itself. An endotoxin is also a pyrogen, which is a fever-causing agent and is the key component of the exterior cell, exterior cell wall of gram-negative bacteria, such as Salmonella and Escherichia coli. Its structure is, compo is composed of lipids and sugar complexes, and this uh, structure is also called a lipopolysaccharide, and is a vital component for gram-negative bacteria to maintain their cell wall integrity. Endotoxins consist of three parts, the O antigen, the core oligosaccharide, and the lipid A. The O antigen, which is the outermost structure, is called an antigen because it is the target for the recognition of the host or human immune response. The immune response to endotoxins goes like this. Once inside the body, immune cells will recognize the bacteria as being foreign, and the bacteria can sometimes evade destruction, but it is normally degraded by our immune system. The endotoxins are then released from the bacterial cell wall and enter into our circulation where they exert their damaging effects. There are numerous clinical significant gram-negative bacteria but some of the most prominent are Bordetella pertussis which is the causative agent for whooping cough, uh, the causative agent for meningitis and gonorrhea and cholera as well as Salmonella, Salmonella typhi, which is the causative agent for typhoid fever and Escherichia coli. Now, since an endotoxin infection can have severe consequences, healthcare products such as vaccines, antibiotics, or intravenous solutions are needed. Otherwise, if uh, sufficient endotoxins enter the bloodstream or the sp uh, spinal fluid, then a person can develop fever, shock, or organ failure, or in extreme cases, even death. Now, the gram-negative bacteria can be found everywhere in nature, from land and marine environments to animals used for foods. Because of this, gram-negative bacteria infections are very common. One myth that exists is that endotoxin diseases can be avoided after heating food. However, the danger lies in the fact that even though bacteria dies after heating contaminated food, the lipopolysaccharides, the endotoxins that constitute its cellular wall are released and these are resistant to heat. In fact, endotoxins are also resistant to the stomach acidity and our digestive enzymes. A recent study has shown that diet is very much associated with endotoxins and its level in and the levels of endotoxins in the human body. The goal of the study was to assess whether endotoxin levels could be affected by dietary means. The conclusion was obvious. Healthy dietary choices such as a consumption of fresh vegetables and fruits and berries can be associated with positive health outcomes. But why? because some foods come with their own and endotoxins. Even foods that are fresh, such as fresh meat, eggs, and dairy, may release endotoxins when the animal is dead. Processed foods and high-fat meals were also found to be high in endotoxin levels. These endotoxins from foods lead to chronic low-grade inflammation if consumed on a regular basis. In fact, Research suggests that people in, co in a compromised metabolic state, such as people suffering from chronic diseases, will have their condition exacerbated more rapidly because of greater exposure to endotoxins. So to conclude, if your diet is based on meats, saturated fat-rich foods, and or processed foods, including processed vegetables, such as uh, pre-cut vegetables uh, with all, uh, and a diet with low phytonutrient levels, then uh, there is a very high chance that you will absorb endotoxins, leading to exacerbation of existing chronic conditions, as well as low-grade inflammation, 
leading to chronic disease in the future if you don't already have it. A healthier diet rich in natural, plant-based proteins such as legumes of all sorts, fresh fruits and fresh vegetables will help prevent endotoxin exposure and lead to an overall healthier body and life. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button bell for any notifications every time I upload a new video. And please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better level. Thank you very much for joining.